Hello, I'm Ellie from Little Angel Theatre and welcome to our Make a Puppet in a Week course. This week we're going to be releasing step-by-step -step instructions either via videos or through worksheets on how to make your very own one of these. Yay. <laughs> now this course will be suitable for five to seven year olds with a little bit of adult help or eight to eleven year olds working a little bit more independently although it is so much fun so all the siblings and even parents can get involved and make one of their own as well now although this puppet might look a little bit complicated, it's made with materials that you can find from around your house or things that are easy to get hold of. There's a full materials list for the entire week in the description of this video, but today you're going to be using newspaper, tape, masking tape is best if you have it, scissors, felt tip pens or colouring pencils, some plain paper, a little bit of cardboard, and some white craft glue or PVA. So when making puppets the first thing we need to do is create a design or a drawing of what we want it to look like. I've based mine on Rumpelstiltskin inspired by Aaron Glass's telling of it in our stories pages but you could do anything you like. You could create your own character or you could even make a puppet of yourself or a family member. Now in designing your puppet you want to think about the front view and also the profile, so the side view. So you're gonna divide your piece of paper in half and just label those up. What's really nice about making puppets is that you can over-exaggerate certain elements of the face and the body. It doesn't need to be hugely realistic. Overly large hands and feet are also really good to create character, but also it makes it slightly easier in the making because hands in particular can be quite tricky. Big eyes are really lovely and also a big nose. That really helps the audience know where your puppet's looking, helps to create character, and makes us really respond to them well as an audience member. I also wanted my little Rumpelstiltskin to have really big pointy ears and a lovely round belly. Once you're happy with your drawing, we're gonna look at the profile. You can take lines across the page to help guide us when we're drawing that side view. You can take a line from the top of the head, from the bottom of the chin, from the shoulders, the tops of the legs and the feet. And that's going to show us where on the other side of the page we can draw those elements out. Don't worry about the arms because we've drawn those in the front view, we don't need them in the side view. What we're really looking for in this profile is the shape of the face, so particularly the shape of the nose and the back of the head, that's quite important, and also the shape of the tummy and how long your feet want to be. These are the things that's really hard to show in that front view. Once you're happy with your drawing, colour it in so that you know what things you're going to need later on in the week. Great! And that's your design done. You're going to need to refer to that throughout the week, so keep it in a safe place. If you've got one, maybe pop it into a plastic wallet and that's really going to protect it from glue and paint as you're carrying on making throughout the week. Now you are ready to start making. The first step is the head. It's great to start with the head because you start to get to know the character of your puppet straight away and it also helps proportion the rest of the puppet as you go. So for this you're going to need a few large sheets of paper and also a few bits of newspaper that's all cut up into little squares. You're going to need your white craft glue or your PVA, you're going to need those little bits of cardboard and the scissors and the masking tape that we haven't used yet. So let's get started. I've got my design propped up somewhere where I can see it and we're going to start making the head. So, first a full sheet of newspaper we can crunch up into a lovely ball, just like so. Get a second piece and going to wrap that up. Again. 
going like that for a little bit until you've got the size of the head that you want. Um, I would say that's probably about as big as I would like it. Get some nice long strips of tape. And we're just going to tape that up really nice and tight. That's a lovely start. In my design, he's got a really nice big nose. So I'm going to make that with a bit of card. I'm going to redraw this profile nose shape, this side view, onto my card, thinking about the size of my head. So let's just pop my head there, and I know my nose. I've always been fond of a really big nose for puppets. Okay, right, I'm happy with that nose shape, so I'm going to cut that out. Just like that. Right, we're going to stick that onto our head. So just give it a little push into the newspaper create a little well for it to go into and then we're just going to put tape on either side okay, and give it half so that, that can go into the base and we'll do the same on the other side stick that into your face beginning to see the shape of our puppet here you can see my design and the head so I think it just needs a little bit more on the back of the head because this is looking a little bit flat. So we're just going to take another scrunched up ball of newspaper and let's tape it onto the back of the head there. Really important to keep looking at your head from lots of different angles so that you can make sure that you're getting a shape that you're really happy with and keep looking back to your design these front view and this side view that are very important okay so that's looking quite good um what I haven't got here yet are these eyebrows and they're gonna really help ground my face so take another sheet of newspaper and tear it in half lengthways Hold it back in half. And this next Great. And that's going to form our brow. Oh, yeah, he's really coming to life now. See, I'll tape them really nice and secure right at the top of the nose and then we're giving it a nice arch across the top of his eyes so that's going to really help us see where we need to put the eyes in right we're really getting somewhere now we're going to pad the side of this nose so using slightly smaller bits of newspaper we're just going to fill this gap Don't forget to do the same on the other side. Right, yes, look at that lovely big nose. Now we just need to think about our ears. So again, I'm going to take some cardboard. I'm going to draw out our ear shape. I'm going to make these a little bit fatter than I want them. But remember, we don't need to make things exactly the same. In fact, it's a bit more characterful if you've got slightly different 
shape on each side. I'm just going to cut those out. Okay. Now here's a little trick we can do for the ears. If we cut a slit in the middle, not going all the way up, then you're going to fold them over. So fold one underneath and that's giving us this really nice curve here and it gets them point out nicely. I'm just going to take that into place on both sides just to make sure it's really nice and secure. And we'll do the same for the other one. Okay, so now we've got two nice little ears. We're going to stick them onto the sides of the face. I want my ears to come out just behind the brow. So just there. And I'm just going to take those straight on. And if that's sticking out nicely, that's one. Let's have a little think about where this one wants to go. About there, I would say. Give that cardboard a little bend to make it stick out even more. Take that into place there. Right, I know that's looking quite rough at the moment, but you're really beginning to see that face shape build up. I think I'm actually I'm quite happy with that. Now you just need to wrap this whole shape in tape and make it really, really nice and secure. As you put that tape on, really pull it tight to get that shape really solid. There we go. Once he is all covered in tape all the way around and you're really happy with your shape from all your different angles, it's time to paper mache. So the first thing to do is to mix up your PVA with a little bit of water. This is my white craft glue or PVA. And I'm just going to add a little bit of water. Now you don't need very much, it's just to try and make it a little bit less gloopy. Particularly if you've got slightly old PVA. So just a little splash. And then give it a good stir. It'll look really liquidy at first, but the more you stir it, the more that'll come together. I'm just using a fairly old paintbrush that I don't really mind too much about because the bristles will get all gluey. So don't use anything too precious. I'd say that was probably about right. So you can see how it's still quite thick, but it's moving and is running much freer. I like some stimmer finger in it just to make sure I've got the consistency right. If you're looking for something round about double cream, maybe a little bit thicker. So that looks great. Then you want to have your prepared bits of newspaper. Because our head's not that big, we're going to use quite fairly small bits of newspaper. So don't go anything too much bigger than that. Maybe even have some even smaller bits for things like the ears. It might be a bit easier to do if you have an even smaller bit. Okay. There are two different ways to paper mache. I'll show you the sort of cleaner version first. We are going to just dip your paintbrush in your gluey mix and paint it on a section. Take your bits of newspaper and stick it into that wet glue. Then you're going to paint glue back over the top. And with the paintbrush you can really push into the shapes that you've got. 
add a bit more glue all the way around and stick some more newspaper on. I'm just going to go around and build that up as you go. Other way of paper mache, which does get a little bit messier, just to warn you, you can take your strip and you can just dip it straight in the glue. Make sure it's really coated on both sides, and you're just going to lay it on your shape. Push it in with your fingers. It's a bit quicker, but like I said, it does get quite messy. Once you've got a fair amount of glue going around. You can find that you can just push the glue onto it. You can just add some, dip your fingers in. Both methods work really, really well. So whichever you prefer. And you're just gonna go all the way around the shape until you've got at least one whole layer of paper mache over your shape. There we go. Just do a quick check round before you leave it to dry that all your little ends are stuck down and you can't see any more bits of tape. That looks great. Fantastic work. Leave your head in a nice, safe place to dry overnight and join us again tomorrow to find out what we're going to be doing next. See you then. Bye.